Hey guys, Tiffany from Us The Remingtons here, and today we're gonna talk about how to get water for your travel trailer. The good news is it's almost as simple as connecting the hose and turning on the spigot. But there are some added variables we need to highlight so you don't damage your trailer's plumbing if this is your first time. For starters, it's important to understand the difference between hooking up to city water and filling your fresh water tank. City water is generic for any external water source at a campground. Some campgrounds get water from the well instead of the city, but today we're just simply concerned about correctly hooking up our trailer up to the water spigot. So to begin, you'll need to grab a hose that is drinking water safe, often referred to as potable water hose. The hose's length will tell you how close you need to park to the water source. But most campsite spigots will be next to the electric and the sewer connections. We recommend a 50 foot water hose because I personally have come up way too many times short with the 25 foot hose. Next, you'll need to install a water pressure regulator to reduce the pressure to a safe level for your trailer's plumbing. The best place to do this is between your water source and your hose. Water pressures from city water connections vary dramatically. So installing a water pressure regulator will reduce the pressure to a safe level for your trailer's plumbing. Without one, the risk of damaged hose fittings or cracked pipes increases, and so does the likelihood of having to fix an expensive leak. Screw the female end of your regulator onto the water spigot and then attach your hose to the male end. You can also install an inline water filter to your city water inlet before connecting your hose to filter your drinking water. Under sink filters and whole RV filtration systems are also great if you wanna skip this step when you're hooking up to city water. Once you have a pressure regulator and filter in place, go inside and partially open up one of your faucets in the kitchen sink. This will eliminate the potential issues with excessive water pressure if there's a malfunction with your pressure regulator. Then turn the city water on and you should be good to go. Check all of your faucets for adequate water pressure and also go back outside to make sure water isn't dripping from the connection points at either end of your water hose. If it is, shut the water off and check the O-rings on your hose and water pressure regulator. They should be present and in good conditions to prevent any leaks. So that's it for hooking up your city water. But what about the process for filling your fresh water tank? For starters, the fill inlet is usually on the opposite side of your trailer. It'll be on the exposed side of your trailer or hidden behind the small locked door labeled potable water. Most dump stations have a water fill spigot, but you can also use a campsite water source to top off your fresh water. No matter the water source, pull your trailer close enough for your hose to reach. Make sure the source is labeled potable water or drinking water. You don't need a pressure regulator when filling your water tank, but we do recommend using an inline water filter. So you'll want to attach the filter and the female end of your hose to the water source and then run the male end to the fresh water inlet. Most inlets don't have threads to screw a hose into, so just remove the inlet cap and set the hose in place. The best way to monitor the water level as you fill your tank is to look at it. Newer trailers have a digital level monitor, but the display is usually inside. So to keep it simple, open the compartment door and visually monitor when your tank is full. Now things can get a little tricky here if you're working alone. When you turn your water on, the pressure can blow the hose out of the inlet, and then you'll just be watering the ground. Ideally, your partner holds the hose in place while you turn the water on. If you're alone, sort of wedge the hose into the inlet and if it's available, use the door to hold it in place. Whichever method you use, just monitor until the tank is full and then shut the water off. Replace the inlet cap and close and lock the access door. Finally, allow any access water to drain from the hose before you coil and store it. Remember, you'll need to turn on your trailer's water pump when you actually want to pull water from your fresh water tank. Some travel trailers have two water power pump switches in the kitchen and the bathroom. And now you're on to your next adventure with a full water tank and less stress about staying hydrated. Happy camping!